Frank just picking us back up had a bit of a nightmare. Our last four or five minutes got cut out. Um, so yeah, we discussed the deals with uh, Fury and, and Dubois for Showtime. That's all gone out. So just a few things to, to go for. Joe Joyce, uh, brilliant performance against Carlos Stackham. Great stoppage as well. How did that rate on BT, Frank? It done really well. The races were good. It was, you know, delighted with it. I think more importantly, well, that is important, but also is important the connection he got with the crowd. The crowd got really got behind him. Hmm. And it was a good win. He owned a, at the end, when he turned it on in the sixth round, he done what he had to do. He threw around 25 unanswered punches, and the referee had no, no alternative to stop him because the other fellow was shipping them and not looking good. Yeah, it felt like it was a fantastic promotion, BT, and a, a good event on the night as it well. It was. It was an excellent event. I was really pleased with the fights. Yeah, and Echo Essam and Hamza Shiro's brilliant performances yeah, yeah. as well. Absolutely. I mean, he, I, I was pleasantly surprised by that, what he did. I thought it was an excellent performance, all of it. Yeah, and it seems like Hamza's move to America really paid off as well. Yeah, I mean, he, came, he was at the office um, yesterday. He was talking to him and his dad and uh, uh, Cam, and, and you know, he, he's ex extremely pleased with himself. He's a, he's a really nice young man. He was a great advert for boxing. You know, he can fight, which is really important. He's got tremendous skills, and he's a, you know, he's a, he's a clean-cut, decent young man, and I'm really pleased to be promoting him. Frank, I know we're pressed for time, so we just rattle through these topics. Um, George Chisora, is that a possibility? If he wants it, he knows where we are, pick up the phone and we'll do it. We've offered it to him before. Do you believe that's a BT pay-per-view fight? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a big fight, yeah. Let's get it on. Emirates? Not yet. I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think it's an Emirates fight, but I think it's a big fight. We want to build a big, big show up for Emirates in, mm. next year, and we're working very hard to make that happen. How do you think that goes, George Chisora? I think Joe beats him. Stops him? It's a tough fight. It, you know, when I say a tough fight, you know, there's a bit of a yardstick there with him and, as you see last week, with yeah. Takem. I think, I think it would think be a really good fight while it last. Carry on with the heavyweight theme. Bob Arum's made some comments recently saying that if Fury and, and Joshua win their next respective fights, he wants to bring that to the UK, kind of April time. Is that realistic, given the potential site offers from Saudi? But, you know, who knows what's going to happen by then. And I think, really, you know, we've, we've been down that road, haven't we? We keep talking about that fight happening, it didn't happen. Every, bring, putting everybody's expectation levels up. I'm not putting a downer on it. First of all, they've got to win their, win their respective fights. Then let's meet all of us. Then let's get the fight signed up and then announce it. And mm. wherever it takes place, it'll take place. That'll be where the most money can be generated. Mm. You'd like to see it in the UK? Of course then. we would. I mean, it's, you know, it's two Brits. Why wouldn't you want to see that? In, you know, Wembley's the perfect venue for it. Mm. Okay, Frank, of course, you've got your Birmingham... Or the Emirates. <laughs> or the Emirates. Uh, you've got your Birmingham show the night yeah. before uh, Dubois and Tommy Fury in action on Showtime pay-per-view. Just a, a quick word on Anthony Yard's opponent. Where are we with that, Frank? Uh, we are quite close to getting it done. We're just waiting for the contracts to come back. Once it's signed, we'll announce it. And all being well for Anthony on that night. A lot of pressure, obviously, coming off a yeah. loss. Uh, but all being well, we are set for Arthur Yard 2, Manchester, October 9th. October 9th, we're trying to get it on in Manchester at the moment, if we, provided we get the venue, but he will fight on October 9th. Frank, obviously there's been a show by uh, Matram announced for October 9th as well between uh, Liam Smith and Anthony Fowler, so there could be a potential clash there. Have you thought about that? No. Okay. No, okay. why would I? You know, Tyson's fighting that night, and we, it's no secret we're going to do a British leg on the show, and that's what, the, that's what we're doing that night. That's a big, big show for us. Big, big, big fight night on BT. Mm. Of course, you've got your September card with Sonny Edwards, uh, yeah. September 11th. What are the plans for September, October, Frank? Uh, we've got two shows on in October, as you mentioned, October the 9th, and there'll be another show on as well in October. Okay. We'll be launching our, uh, our um, Stars of Tomorrow show, with those young youngsters, we'll be doing that as well, so we're quite busy. And just a quick word before we go, obviously we saw some action on the weekend, the zones launch in the UK. What did you make of the show and also Lee Wood uh, becoming world champion? I thought they were really good. I thought they, were, they had some good fights on there. Some good fights on there and I thought uh, Lee Wood done extremely well. I, I, I've got to be honest, at the uh, Zoom, I, I was quite shocked. I was, you know, um, he didn't turn out to be what I expected it to be, but I thought Lee done extremely well. Okay, Frank, I appreciate you doing that for a second time and uh, yeah, appreciate your time and I feel we'll catch up with you soon, all right? Thank Love you. It. Cheers, man.